Valencia, a city with unbelievable parks, great architecture with large squares full of history, delicious food and on top of that access to the Mediterranean Sea with amazing beaches. This video is all about showing you the best places to visit in Valencia and at the end of the video a bonus attraction carefully selected for you. Wanna bet you will love it? Our first recommendation is Plaza del Torres de Valencia, which is a bullring where events are still kept today and it is part of the city's cultural heritage. Number 2 in my list is Valencia City Hall. In the center of the city you will not miss the Town Hall or Plaza del Ayuntamiento. If you are visiting Valencia during the week, you can visit the town hall indoor free of charge. This is a good starting point from which to visit Valencia's old quarter or today's most fashionable shops. The Lonja de la Sena is an emblematic building of the city and one of the most famous civil Gothic monuments in Europe. It was declared a National Historic and Artistic Monument in 1931 and was made a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1996. It is one of the best attractions of Valencia and I can understand why. The Gothic architecture and decorations are so pleasant to watch. Dive in the history of this building and you'll be astonished. Built between 1482 and 1533, Lonja is composed of three parts plus the orange garden. The main hall or the contract hall is a large lavishly decorated space supported by gorgeous twisted columns. You will definitely enjoy this attraction so put it on your visiting list. Another great spot for photos is St. Catalina Tower. Somehow this attraction got into our attention because of the lovely square surrounding it. Central Market or in Spanish Mercado Central was first inaugurated in 1839 as an open-air marketplace called Mercat No. The construction today began in 1914 and was fully completed in 1928. The Central Market of Valencia is one of the largest in Europe, covering more than 8000 square meters with a Valencian Art Nouveau style. The beauty of the building stands out especially on account of the light that enters through the roof at very points and through colorful window panels. Most vendors sell food items, although souvenir shops and restaurants are located into the market as well. It is a popular location for tourists and locals alike. Stop for a second and admire the talented local artists all over Valencia. Their music will create a perfect mood for visiting the city. Riding a bike on Spanish roads might seem like a hair-raising experience, but it's perfectly safe in Valencia's web of narrow streets, pedestrian squares, parks and seafront promenades. You'll have the freedom to zip around Valencia's top sites, head to the beach or take easy rides through the Turia Garden. The Turia Park is one of the largest urban parks in Spain. It runs through the city along 9 kilometers of green space, boosting food paths, leisure and sports areas and romantic spots where you can have a lovely picnic. From Cabecera Park to the City of Arts and Science, the Turia Gardens are the perfect place for runners, cyclists, families and nature enthusiasts. Crossed by 18 bridges full of history, the former riverbed passes by the city's main museums and monuments on either bank. The vast gardens are built on the former riverbed of the Turia, whose course was altered to prevent constant flooding in the city. Coming back to bike experiences in Valencia, in 2012 the city implemented the Valenbici Bike Sharing Network, which is a subscription based and aimed mainly at the Valencia's residents. Still, there are numerous rental companies across the city, like Passion Bike for example. We always love riding bicycles and it was a really great experience and the dedicated lanes made us feel safe and secure. 
The City of Arts and Sciences in Valencia is a unique complex devoted to scientific and cultural dissemination which is made up of five main elements – the Hemispheric, the Umbracle, the Principal Felipe Science Museum, the Lochanographic and the Palau de l'Arts de Reina Sofia. It is the most important modern tourist destination in the city of Valencia and one of the 12 treasures of Spain. The project began the first stages of construction in July 1996 and was inaugurated on 16 April 1998 with the opening of Lemispheric. The last major component of the City of Arts and Sciences, Palo de les Arts Reina Sofia, was inaugurated on 9 October 2005 on Valencian Community Day. The Hemispheric is an IMAX cinema, planetarium and lacerium. The building is meant to resemble a giant eye. The Hemispheric, also known as the Planetarium or the Eye of Knowledge, is the centerpiece of the City of Arts and Sciences. It was the first building completed in 1998. Originally budgeted at 300 million euros in 1991 for free structures, it has expanded about three times the initial expected cost. Lumbracle is an open structure enveloping a landscape walk with plant species such as rock rose, rosemary, lavender or palm trees. Palo de les Arts Reina Sofia It's an opera house and performing arts center dedicated to music and the performing arts. Museo de las Sciences Principal Felipe is an interactive museum of science that resembles the skeleton of a whale. L'Oceanographic is an open-air oceanographic park. It is the largest oceanographic aquarium in Europe. This unique complex is an amazing attraction to visit. We definitely recommend to add it as a must to your things to do in Valencia. Valencia Cathedral, or also known as the St. Mary's Cathedral, is a Romantic Catholic church consecrated in 1238 by the first bishop of Valencia, Per d'Albalat. A purported holy chalice, believed by many to be the truly holy grail, is kept in one of the cathedral's chapels. Most of Valencia Cathedral was built between the 13th century and the 15th century and this style was mainly Gothic. However, its construction went for centuries. As a consequence, there is a mixture of artist styles ranging from the early Romanesque, Valencian Gothic, Renaissance, Baroque and Neoclassical. As a bonus location and one of my favorite places to be is the seaside. As you already may know from my previous videos, I literally love visiting cities with seaside and I bet you love it also. One of the best things about this is that after a full day visiting amazing cities with thousands and thousands of steps walking, a fun day at the beach is all you need. Having a bath, swimming against the waves and get suntanned. Isn't this all you need? We've also come for the sunset or even the sunrise thanks to our bikes, although we weren't so lucky because of the clouds that stood in our way. We've took full advantage of the bike rental and always used this means of transportation all around Valencia. Although I would keep this video running with the beauties of Valencia, it's almost time to end it. So how was our experience in Valencia? We love the city vibes, not too noisy, not too quiet, just perfect for our tastes. How are the Valencian people? Very friendly, always wanting to help. 
How about the transportation? Well, you know already that we loved riding the bikes and it is a nice opportunity to visit the city cheap and fast, but you need to know that the public buses are well organized and can be of help. How was the food? In one word, delicious. We've eaten a lot of tapas, paella, fine jamon or gambas a la pil pil. Would I go back to Valencia? Definitely yes. I would also consider moving there for a while in a later period of my life. Who wouldn't like a green city with delicious food, seaside and great weather all year round to call it home? I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, give it a big like and share it to a friend. This is Travel and Tell No One with my best wishes and intentions for you, my friend. See you in the next one.